Welcome to my Dragon Kindred. I'm Drake Raven, and let's play some games. Hello and welcome back again uh, to Breaker Raven Studios theme park here in Planet Coast. Uh, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you may be. Take a moment here uh, to certainly welcome you back uh, to episode P e here toward the end of January uh, 20 uh, for my park series. Take a look here at some improvements first that I did off screen. Uh, I decided I would work on making a little bit more custom items. So I created a bit of a custom, uh, or at least a version of it. That was pretty used. Uh, I didn't like entirely the colors that I had chosen for this uh, actual building. Kind of frame work a little bit. So I reworked roof, uh, better color, work with the wood, and then I went with a lighter, more natural wood. Sheet. And I decided to put down larger uh, footprint of steps there uh, just to give it a little bit more depth. So um, I have the path set so that you have space for the road, go off on each side, and that often frame the uh, actual area of be the park. As far as the actual park itself here, we're going to take a look at expanding the path out, out to the right, down and in the middle, and off to the left, uh, and we'll be adding uh, a couple of items. Uh, the first of which is going to be uh, a chair ride, wings, and a actual carousel. Because those, uh, from our research, have been shown as one of the key staple things in most parks, as well as the Virginia Beach uh, and Hampton Roads area parks. Uh, in fitting with the actual area uh, working with, I um, wanted to make sure that we could get a railroad in here somewhere. So off on one side, we're going to kind of have a railroad thing up on a little hill or something. I forgot exactly what I'm going to do. Back to that in a bit. And then the other item that I wanted to put in this first major area is uh, a classic uh, wooden coaster. A um, little bit of an out and back, but a smaller footprint. Not necessarily too large. So I have a little bit of an area that's going to be able to Expand the park, give you some directions to go, and then out in the main street, however this starts to weave, we'll eventually um, build our theater that is the uh, 1947 theater Rick Roman Studios is actually taken over. Um, 
Pembroke area. Got a couple of designs that we'll try to use as reference material. We'll get to that a little bit. Um, another video, perhaps. Today, uh, and uh, for this week, uh, we are going to try to get started on four items started and placed um, we'll be uh, right back we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in do a little bit of a, a time-lapse uh, process to get started and I'll um, be back after we get some of this uh, done uh, and we'll right on into the next part right back hope you enjoy it and thanks again uh, for everyone watching please leave a comment uh, down below if you have any suggestions I'm gonna leave this open as far as names for some of these rides I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do and I'm gonna leave some of it open uh, suggestions names once we have signs Oh, without any further uh, delay, I uh, hope you enjoy this time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, welcome back. That uh, took a lot longer than I was anticipating uh, for those speed builds. Feel good about them. Now we're going to take a look closer here at the uh, path that I put together, as well as the chair uh, swing. Uh, we've got around this side here, uh, got the nice little bit of fencing uh, ropes that I used. Uh, bit of the foliage. Uh, we raised it up a little bit, um, give it a little bit of definition. And then I like the idea of having a little bit of pond uh, pool of water here. More depth of it. Exit here, we come across carousel, has little campfire areas. Um, Nice little bit of autumn tree, rose bushes. Got, of course, uh, as an accent piece here in the front, a Hats Fantastic cowboy shop type thing. Um, going with a 1940s basic wood design bandit there. Got a caravan off on the side and then a campfire. A couple of barrels and rocks going through. Building here is uh, what I was inspired to make almost like a little small firehouse style building brick house um, that has a uh, Ventos and uh, Looney Balloons uh, tucked in here. Got, of course, a little bit of a yard, um, and a little bit of a different pattern, just to flesh out a little bit more. We're uh, looking back at the path here. Uh, we'll be uh, working on putting out the benches and fleshing out a lot more of the little bits of design. So, uh, left in this area. Uh, next week we'll be, uh, of course, figuring out where we're placing the train. Uh, to get that set up. And then here we'll be figuring out where we're going to end up placing our wooden coaster that's going to be our first actual low rolling coaster. This area here. Going to do a couple of ranch style houses uh, to connect housing development uh, area uh, just to get some food court areas set up. On that note, leave it here with a little bit of a better overshot. Latest improvements. I hope to see everyone in the next one, and I do hope everyone is enjoying. And thanks again to all my kindred. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas in regards to uh, roller coaster names or ride names, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll check them and see what I can come up with, what we can put together, and I can flesh that out uh, on the next. See you soon, and for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Drake Raven, and special thanks to all my dragon kindred.